this lecture, we will review how to think critically about disciplinary perspectives and how to move from a position of dualism or relativism to one of critical pluralism. Now, critical thinking is a kind of thinking in which you question, analyze, interpret, evaluate, and make judgment about what you hear read, say, or write. I want you to take a moment to think about whether or not you are a critical thinker. Take a moment. Do you question? Do you analyze? Do you interpret, evaluate, and make a judgment about what you read, hear, say, or write in a critical thinking manner? The term critical comes from the Greek word kertikos, meaning able to judge or discern. Good critical thinking is about making reliable judgments based on reliable information. Applying critical thinking does not mean being negative or focusing on faults. It means being able to clarify your thinking so that you can break down a problem or a piece of information, interpret it, and use that interpretation to arrive at an informed decision or judgment. For example, designing a bridge, responding to an opinion piece, or understanding a political motivation. People who apply critical thinking consistently are said to have a critical thinking mindset. And I know you have a critical thinking mindset, but no one is born that way. So these are attributes which are learned and improved through practice and application. So again, people who apply critical thinking consistently are said to have a critical thinking mindset. Again, no one is born this way. So these attributes are learned and improved through practice, 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 and application. So what does it mean to think critically about disciplinary perspectives? Well, Becoming interdisciplinary involves learning to think critically about disciplinary perspectives on subjects appropriate to interdisciplinary study. To think critically about disciplinary perspectives, it is important to have or be willing to develop a more sophisticated sophisticated conception of knowledge that makes sense to the multiple and often conflicting perspectives and insights that one will encounter. So it's not only about thinking critically about disciplinary perspective, but also you need to be able to be willing to develop a more sophisticated sophisticated conception of knowledge that makes sense to multiple and often conflicting perspectives. You must, that is, come to accept that there is not always one right answer to complex questions, but rather different insights that reflect different perspectives and each contains some kernel of truth. I say this to my students all the time. You shall no longer think single dimensionally or, or one dimensionally with rose colored glasses on. You are always to think in multiple psychological perspectives. And I say this to you now, you must come to accept that there is not always one right answer to complex questions, but rather different insights that reflect different perspectives and each contains some kernel of truth. Now, arriving at this conception involves three things. First, reflecting on your present epistemic position. Second, assessing your tolerance for multiplicity. And third, moving towards critical pluralism. Now, Let's start with the first one, reflecting on your present position. 
So this refers to your understanding of the nature of knowledge and how you determine truth. When we go over these lectures, I want you to personalize some things, okay? I want you to learn from everything that we're talking about. Again, when we're reflecting on your present position, this refers to your understanding of the nature of knowledge and how you determine truth. Next, three positions include dualism, relativism, and pluralism. In dualism, we're talking about knowledge is objective, certain, and absolute. This is the position that someone who holds a dualistic viewpoint have. In relativism, there is no objective knowledge, just opinion and personal preference. In critical pluralism, knowledge can be objective, but not certain and absolute. Okay, let's move on. So assessing your tolerance for multiplicity. Multiplicity refers to when you experience several plausible yet contradictory explanations of the same phenomenon, as opposed to one simple, clear-cut, unambiguous explanation. Next, moving towards critical pluralism. The critical pluralist position is the necessary foundation for interdisciplinary work for two reasons. First, multiple disciplinary perspectives and the insights they produce cannot be simply categorized as true or false or understood as mere opinion. And second, each disciplinary perspective has at least some useful insights, though the proportion can vary considerably from discipline to discipline, depending on the problem under study. Repco lists four ways on how to move from a position of dualism or relativism to one of critical pluralism. So, to move from a dualist or relativist position towards a critical pluralist position, consider doing the following. First, reflect on those past experiences that may have colored your position on the problem you are studying. Second, reflect on social forces, for example, peer or academic pressures that may be influencing your position. Third, temporarily set aside your position on the problem so that you can consider the views of others and the possibility that they may be as valid as your own. And fourth, Keep in mind the goal of the interdisciplinary enterprise, which is to develop a more comprehensive understanding of the complex problem. So again, reflect on those past experiences. Reflect on social forces. Temporarily set aside your position and consider the views of others. And keep in mind the goal of the interdisciplinary enterprise.